of, that we're always observing and that we're always being observed, whether by ourselves or by others. I guess it's my personal uh, confrontation with that reality. So, ultimately, in the end, the painting is visual we take it in visually mm -hmm. but we're sensitive to gesture we're sensitive to texture we're sensitive to the depth right. so all those things are actually part of the process the how it's made mm -hmm. i mean the actual physical motion expenditure of your energy but the feeling involved in that pushes you to the next feeling mm -hmm. so all of these things actually completely interrelate. And all these years, I've never said to myself, well, what does that actually mean? Yeah. But everything in a painting is meaningful. I, I interpreted it as a door for some reason. I, I was thinking for some reason, since this person looks tied up, that's like the... It might be a the meaning is actually the, um, the entire modus operandi. Like, as I'm painting, Every, you could say this is exaggerated, but everything has meaning. So it's a delusional state on a certain level. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you're investing everything with meaning. All art, you know, whether it's photography, film, painting, uh, music, it, it, the subtlety is what makes it work. It's okay. never the brute, uh, you know, impression. The first impression is just a collection of all the subtleties that are affecting you. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's yeah, and it's always like the right feeling. And like, yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Then if you have this idea from a painting, let's say, then creating from that would be editorialized. Mm -hmm. And painting is never, for me, is never editorializing. It's really. Uh, being so overwhelmed with a feeling that there's no other way for me to deal with it right. but through painting it. Yeah, to get it out, actually. Sometimes, actually, that feeling of getting it out is actually, you feel like you have something physically in you. Yeah. It's, it's a real physical sensation. Yeah, that you just, I grew up as a child of survivors of the Holocaust, and th in that sense, religion impacted on me very deeply because my parents and my parents' families were all persecuted uh, for their religion and for no other reason. So the so Judaism impacted so strongly on like who I am as a child. You wonder, why are you singled out? How did you get saddled with this burden? And what does it mean? So the, then the text of any of that religion of Judaism became very meaningful. So the idea of the covenant of the pieces is Abraham is making a covenant with God and the covenant is that is basically that if you believe in me, I will protect you. And the ultimate reality to me as a child of survivors was that covenant was broken. God didn't protect anybody. As a child, it's a really deep, uh, penetrating question. Why were you so betrayed by God? And so actually, in the covenant of the pieces depicted in the Bible, Abraham is told, to take sacrificial animals and cut them in half, and that God, as a pillar of fire smoke, walks through the uh, passageway between the animal halves, and so does Abraham. Well, actually, in the Bible, Abraham doesn't. So in my painting, actually, the betrayal is by God, and the, the sacrificial animals are actually people. So it's trying to depict the reality of the broken covenant and what reality is. So much of you, even your physical makeup, your DNA, who you are, your transgenerational reality, you know, uh, things that your grandparents did is actually passed down through you and you relive actually there. That painting memory, uh, when I realized I was painting this nightmare of that I had as a child, the nightmare of, the, uh, of this uh, hand car on a train track, then I realized actually that my grandparents in trying to escape the Nazis, a lot of people used those hand cars. I never met my grandparents. Yeah. I don't know how that memory came to me. So I actually think we embody genetically uh, so much more than we're aware of. We don't start at birth, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. And actually painting is a great way, art in general is a great way to sort of deal with things that we, the unknown, deal with what we feel, but we don't very well know. And if we actually try to explain it, uh, we limit it because we don't have a good explanation for a lot of things we feel. You know, art does allow us to deal with being concepts. You know, we all feel that. Even if you think of contemporary news uh, or like something as simple as the presidential election, what's under the surface is decisions about 
the biggest things in our life. Whether we're all going to survive as a community, whether we're going to be open and accepting, the polarity of it, all those things are big subjects. Perhaps better dealt with art than politics. Right. You know?